You would rather drain your bank accounts with stupidity than invest in yourself, do a little bit of work, and come out the other side a better version for it. And then own a fucking Starbucks instead. Yo, what's happening? Welcome back to the show. Thank you guys for joining me. For those of you who are new here, my name is Byron Ovenstone. Um, I swear I do record these on different days and I do have other clothes. I just like wearing black on black. So you get me in black on black pretty much every day. But anyway, guys, listen, I have conversations on the regular. For, like I said, for those of you who are new here, like people call me the transformation coach you didn't know you needed for a reason. I have multiple conversations on a daily basis with people who want to level up, who want to time collapse, be better husbands, better fathers, better businessmen, make more money, have a better physique, better relationship with their wife, better relationship with their kids, all of it. Like we cover all of it, right? So what are the one-stop shop? With that though, you have a number of conversations with people who want a result and they want to get on the other side of whatever challenge that they're having, but they're missing the fundamentals and the basics. And the basics and the fundamentals are very simple. Find someone who's doing something better than you, hire them to coach you, and time collapse the fuck out of that journey. Literally, like that's the sum total of everything you need to know. I could stop the video right now and that would be it. Because here's the thing, I don't understand why people are not grasping this concept, but I'm gonna fucking rant for a second. You can continue to fumble your way through life and fucking stumble, fumble, make multiple, multiple, multiple mistakes and just fuck shit up for a very long time. Or you can just find someone who's got the result that you're looking for, hire them as a coach or a mentor, have them coach you so you don't make the same mistakes that they made. And now what took them 10 years, you can do in five. You just won back five years of your life. You're fucking welcome. But what everyone does is they put on their fucking blinkers and they sit like this. Oh, well, you don't understand. I'm special. I'm different. No, you're not. We all have problems. Just the magnitude of our problems differ. So I no longer have $500 problems and I have $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 problems. The most successful people on the planet, they don't have $100,000 problems. They got $10, $50, $100 million problems. The price just gets bigger. The toys that we play with just get better. Like my dad, when I was a kid, he said to me, dude, understand this, you will forever have toys. Your toys just get more expensive. He wasn't kidding. Like the sports car in the garage costs a fucking fortune. The fucking house costs a fucking fortune. But we want all the cool shit, so our toys just keep getting more expensive. So with that elevation in terms of your lifestyle, what inevitably happens? You have to make bigger money. With bigger money comes bigger problems. Now, I can continue to fumble my way through this game called life, making the same mistakes over and over and over again, and paying in time, which is the only fucking thing you can't get more of, by the way. I can't make more time. As much time as I've been allotted, that's as much time as I have. So I am of the belief that when you are born, you're given a death day. And you have no fucking clue when that is. I don't know when mine is. But at some point, my tick is going to run to zero. Similar to that movie where I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Time or something with... Um, Oh, the guy's name just escaped me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And he's like having to work to earn more time. And then he starts stealing and fucking robbing banks and shit like that for time. But here's the thing. You can't win that time back. This is not a fucking movie. This is not a game. This is the real world. So at some point, your ticker is going to run to zero. And that's it. It's a wrap for you. So if the only thing I can't make more of is time and I'm valuing money over the time that it's going to take me to learn something, that is fucking stupid, in my opinion, anyway. Because I can make more money. Money is infinite. Once you realize that and you wrap your head around that concept, money doesn't fucking matter. Governments across the globe print more of it every single day, and then they heighten your taxes, they heighten inflation, and they just fuck you harder for it anyway. So who cares? There's no shortage of money in this world. If there's a shortage, it's because there's a shortage in your head. You're turning up in a fucking scarcity mindset, which is why you're not seeing the money that you want to see. So there's no shortage of money. So if it's a simple transaction of, man, I want to get this result, it's going to take 10 years, but I can buy five years back through using money, 
and save myself five years of learning and pain because I have a mentor who's done what I'm looking to do and get a result, motherfucker, I make that transaction every single day. All day, every day. Because I know a gun to my fucking head, I will figure out how to make an extra $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 to pay that mentor. And in doing so, I time collapse a 10 year journey into five years, but over and above that, I start making fucking money in return faster too. This is the benefit of having a coach. This is why I have a professional bodybuilder coaching me in terms of bodybuilding. I don't know if you know this, I can't remember if I've said it on this channel or if I've said it on Instagrams or wherever the fuck I, I talk all over the place, but I'm 16 weeks out from my uh, from bodybuilding competition. I can fumble my way through it. I know a fuck ton about this shit. Obviously, I'm in the coaching space. I understand my body. I'm more in tune with my body than most people. But I've never stood on stage before. So I can fumble my way through it and fucking half-ass it and guess and YouTube and spend hours on end. Or I can just pay a guy and say, hey, help me. Give me the roadmap. Give me the play. I will execute accordingly. He has now saved me hours and hours and hours of fucking around to find out that shit doesn't work because he just gives me the blueprint. And I go back to him and I say, hey, Andrew, um, listen, dude, uh, the macros that I'm on right now, this is what I'm feeling. This is how it's looking. Blah, 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 blah. And he's like, okay, sweet. Do this. Boom. Run the play. Fuck. It's working. Oh, shit. Andrew, it's not quite working as, as we thought. What do you suggest? Oh, we're gonna do this instead. We'll pivot here, we'll increase your carbs here, we'll decrease your protein there, we'll then bump your protein up to this while decreasing fat over here. And he's the fucking mastermind. I don't have to think, I don't have to do anything, I just run the play. And in doing so, I'm probably in the best condition I've been in in a long time, weighing the most I've weighed in a long time too. This morning I was 243.6. 243.6, 16 weeks out. By the time you watch this, I'll be fucking 15 weeks out or 14 and a half weeks out. So we're in about a two week delay period at this point in terms of getting these videos up. But motherfucker, I'm in the best shape I've been in a long time. I'm occupying the most space I've occupied in a long time. And I'm fucking chasing down single digit body fats in an aggressive manner as well. Now, I've never had to push myself to two or 3% body fat. So this is where Andrew's gonna come in and he's gonna fucking remove all the barriers and help me out. But again, I've bought information and I've bought myself time so that I don't have to spend hours on end at nighttime Googling and YouTubing and fucking figuring shit out. I just pick up the phone. Andrew, this is what I've got. Where are we at? I'll do this, boom. Solution to the problem, job done. Now I win back time where I can either focus on my business or I can go through to the other room in the living room and hang out with my kids and my wife and buy more time with them. So you guys understanding this concept, like stop valuing money so much because you can make more of it and you can make more of it a lot quicker if you start investing in yourself and learning some fucking valuable skill sets. I got put on blast the other day and I got fucking Instagram hate for all kinds of angles because I told someone that he's a fucking moron. He said to me he doesn't have the time to train and focus on his nutrition and his mindset and upgrade his skill set because he's working three jobs. And I said, bro, you're working three jobs because you suck at doing three things. If you were good at one of them, that one thing will pay you more than all three put together. So you don't have a choice. You have to go all in, make a decision that you're gonna be the best in the business at X. Doesn't matter what X is but you then learn the skill sets, you in develop those traits, and you become the 1% of that specific thing to where now you're not trading time for money. You're actually turning up and going, hey man, I'm the fucking guy. I'm top dog in this arena. So you're gonna pay my rate, and if you don't, that's cool. Pay some other joker, and then circle back with me and waste even more money because you've paid someone and now you're still gonna have to pay me anyway. Doesn't make sense. So just pay me and I'll get the result done for you. And then I can go ahead and work my eight hour day or my seven hour day or my six hour day or my 20 hour day. It doesn't matter. But I know, but I know I'm getting paid and I'm going to get paid more for that one role than I do working three jobs because those three jobs at minimum wage don't make sense. It's a direct transfer. 
oh, I'm going to give you an hour, you're going to give me $17. So I'm going to give you another hour, you're going to give me $17. You're kept. You have 24 hours in a day. When the fuck do you sleep? Versus being best in business, now you can get to a point where you set up your own organization and you have people working under you. And now you've just multiplied your hours. Because if you've got five people and each of them can give you eight hours, you technically now have 40 hours a day because you can charge those five people out for eight hours a day. You've won 40 hours. Over and above the eight hours that you would pull, you're at 48 hours. Good times. You're doing more work in one day than people are doing in two. Actually, when you work it out where people are working eight hours a day, you're working fucking six days in one. Time collapse. So stop fucking fumbling your way through this shit. Stop valuing the stuff that doesn't fucking matter. And don't get me wrong, money matters. Like if you're on the bones of your ass, money fucking matters. Get to a point where you figure out how to get a little bit more liquid and then hire yourself a coach to time collapse the shit out of it. But the starting block and the foundation has to be your fitness and your nutrition. And then once those two things are dialed in, now your mindset starts coming right. Then you focus on the inputs and what you're putting in you then give out to the rest of the world. But you can't give anything out that you do not possess in yourself first. So you have to respect yourself. You have to have high self-esteem. You have to actually look in the mirror and go, I fucking love that guy. He's a cool dude. And in doing so, you're able to love other people around you and invest in them and give them. Like I said, you're obligated to leave everyone better than you found them. You're obligated to be the guy that walks into a room and everyone goes, who the fuck is that? That guy's cool. I don't know who he is, but I want to know him. You should be giving off that energy. That's how you should be showing up. You can't do that if you're a gelatinous mess of a human being that's fucking unkept, doesn't give a shit about themselves, wears shitty fucking clothes, doesn't pay attention to his appearance, has no spatial awareness, is not charismatic, and all of the other stuff that comes with being a high profile individual or someone worth other people's attention, right? But again, it starts with you paying attention to yourself first, giving yourself the best opportunity, put your best foot forward. I've said this multiple times over. Two guys with the exact same net worth can walk into a room. One guy looks like shit and he's unkept. The other guy has good fitting clothes and is kept well. I promise you now, the guy that has good, good fitting clothes and is well kept will get more attention. Why? Because he just looks the part. Now, obviously, you get these high-profile dudes who are worth fucking billions, and they roll around in jeans and a t-shirt. But even in that jeans and t-shirt, they look like they fucking belong. That's what everyone's missing here. They're still well-kept. They're fucking clean-shaven. Their hair's on point. They've got a fitting shirt. Their jeans look good. They've got clean shoes. They've brushed their fucking hair. Those little details matter. But anyway, we've only on a fucking tangent here. I don't even know how we got to this point. The reality of the situation is this. You need a fucking coach. The reason you are where you are, the reason you're not living this life on your terms is because you don't have a fucking coach. You don't have someone to lean on. You don't have someone to help you get around the barriers that you're consistently running into. You don't have someone to see around corners that you don't even know exist yet because you don't know what you don't know. You're trying to achieve something you've never done before. And why would you try and do that solo? To where you can make a fuck ton of mistakes, you can really hurt yourself, do a bunch of stupid shit, and potentially not even get the result that you're shooting for. Versus just finding someone like me, or any other fucking coach in this space, and going, hey, dude, I know what you do, I see what you've done for other people, I want that shit. And then putting your money where your fucking mouth is. Paying your way. Because all of the shit that I give you is free. On this app, on the YouTubes, on the Instagram, everything I give is for free. And not many people are taking action until they actually pay. Because until you pay, you pay attention. So you can. You can go it alone. You can make micro steps. You can absorb all of the free content that you've got. But again, what is your time worth to you? What, what does the end game look like for you? Because again, if you're prepared to take 10 years to sweat and bleed... Like, why not sweat and bleed for 10 years and get the most opportunity out of those 10 years that you can? Rather than not investing in yourself, not investing in coaches, and kind of just getting this far along. When with the right kind of people by your side, the right kind of network, you could be over here somewhere. 
I've literally had guys work with me for six months and add a zero to their paycheck. There is no fucking person on this chain, no person watching this video or any YouTube video right now who would say, you know what, fuck having an extra zero on my paycheck. Not interested. I don't want it. Even the wealthiest dude on earth is going, hey man, add a zero, I'm up for it. Tell me what to do. So understand that those are the kind of outcomes that you can have when you have the right person by your side. And I'll be completely honest with you, not everyone is going to work with me because I'm not workable with everyone. Like my coaching style is very aggressive, very abrupt, very abrasive. There's no niceties. There's no, oh, maybe you should try. Like, oh, I get it. You, you had a bad day. Okay. Like I don't play that game. I don't, I don't do the whole excuses train. So I rub a lot of people the wrong way. I piss off a lot of people. So if you're sensitive and you're not someone who likes direct confrontational feedback, or not even confrontational to be honest, just direct feedback. I'm not gonna beat around the bush and pretend that what you're doing is okay if it's not okay. So if you're not someone who likes direct feedback, don't hire me as a coach, but still come to my organization and I'll just give you someone else. I've got all kinds. We, we have what, I think six or seven different coaches on our, on our program right now. One of them will be a good fit. You'll fill in your questionnaire, you'll tell us a little bit about your goals, what kind of feedback you want to get, etc., etc. And we'll place you with the best coach that we think. But hire yourself a coach. Stop going through this game called life blind. You're the fucking blind leading the blind. Doesn't make sense. You can time collapse. You can get better results. But what you have to do is actually invest in yourself. Stop prioritizing the shit that doesn't actually matter. Like fix your mindset and you'll realize that there is no shortage of money. There is no shortage of opportunity. It's what you've been told. And it's what you've bought into. I, I spoke to a guy a good couple weeks ago now. Um, and normally race doesn't actually matter, but he, he was a black guy and he's like, dude, you don't understand. We've been uh, suppressed for decades and blah, 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 blah. And first he was blaming the white man. And then all of a sudden it wasn't, it wasn't actually the white, white guy's fault. It was black rappers. And then it was someone else. And then it was his parents. And then it was his wife. And then it went on to bl blaming his kids. And I'm like, at some point, bro, you're going to run out of people to blame. And then you have to look in the fucking mirror and realize that you are your problem. The fact that you don't turn up and that you've chosen to be a fucking loser and blame everyone else rather than just taking complete ownership of where you are and running the play accordingly. You, as soon as you start giving it off and you blame everyone else, you relinquish the ability to fix your fucking problems. But the moment you go, you know what? I fucked that up. This is my fault. Now you take full ownership of it. Now you're in a position to do something because you own the fucking problem. So if you are the problem, you can fix the problem. But if the government is my problem, I can't fix the government. I don't have that kind of power. So now what am I? I just sit back and I'm like, well, poor me. Let me play my violin. Everything sucks. No, everything doesn't suck, motherfucker. You suck because you didn't hire a coach. You didn't pay attention. You don't do the work and you blame everyone else but yourself for the fucking shitstorm that you've created for yourself. It's pretty simple stuff. Like this is not rocket science. We're not curing cancer here. We're literally just helping you get better. And step number one is identifying that you're your fucking problem. Step number two is hiring yourself a goddamn coach. Step number three is being very clear on what you want from this game called life. And then you relay that back to your coach and your coach goes, cool man, this is the roadmap. And then you do the fucking work. You invest in yourself and you do the fucking work. And you continue to run the play and run the work until such time as you get the result. It's very simple. So stop kicking this tire down the road. Stop thinking tomorrow's gonna be better. Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. There's the whole reason, like, I don't know if you watched fucking Kung Fu Panda, but the dude even says it in there. He's like, today's called the present because it's a gift. So fucking own that shit. Take it upon yourself today to make the changes that you wanna see in this game called life. Start living that ultimate you. Start living like that guy would live. And if you do it for long enough, you will live that life. It's very simple, but you have to make the conscious choice. You have to go all in and make that happen for you first. And it starts with a decision, building a plan, hiring a coach, staying accountable, and running the play. So if you're looking for a coach, there's a link below. Click the link in the description box. It will say, join my program, the Agogi, or something along those lines anyway. Join my coaching program, get on board with us, attend the fucking calls, do the work, 
and the results that you see off the back of it will be profound to say the least. And over and above that, what will inevitably happen is you'll have like most people where the regret will be, I wish I had done this sooner. I can't believe I kicked this tire down the road for so fucking long and I left this for so long. I could have been so much further at this point. Yeah, we all have it. But putting this off for tomorrow is not gonna change that outcome for you. It's just gonna make it worse. So stop kicking the tire down the road, get on board, do your shit, and let's go. It's time we stop fucking playing games. Stop playing the guessing game. Stop overvaluing money when you can make more of it tomorrow. The only thing you can't make more of is time. Start valuing the time. Stop prioritizing your time management. Stop scrolling the Instagram for six hours a day and the YouTubes for eight hours a day looking for motivation and fucking accountability and whatever else buzzwords are being thrown around out there right now. Fuck all of that. Hire yourself a coach. Your coach will keep you accountable. Your coach will give you the fucking roadmap. Execute the goddamn roadmap. And once you've done for the day, then you may turn on the PlayStation. When you've made five grand a day or whatever your number is that you have to hit, then you may sit on the sofa and fucking play the PlayStation. Or then you may go and do whatever you do as an enjoyable thing that you're trying to escape life from previously. Until such time as you fucking crushed that day and achieved those goals, don't fucking do it. Earn the right to do it. And once you live on those terms, very quickly will you see how you can time collapse stuff. Very quickly we realize just how quickly that life pivots and goes in a completely different direction for you. But it starts with you. So at some point you've got to get out of your own way. Stop using the excuse of, oh, I don't have it. I can't make it work. Man, I think our our fucking lowest program is less than Starbucks every day. Like there's people out there buying caramel macchiatos instead of hiring a fucking coach. That's how stupid some people are. Your caramel macchiato at a thousand calories is worth more to you than adding a zero to your paycheck. You would rather drain your bank account with stupidity than invest in yourself, do a little bit of work, and come out the other side a better version for it. And then own a fucking Starbucks instead. Switch this fucker on. Be better. I hope you guys liked today's video. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers for now.